All right. And now for something completely different. I'm Wendy Nather, now you know who to blame. This is what I'm going to talk about. Let's get going. Has anybody had to deal with writer's block or solving a problem where you're trying really hard to figure it out and your brain just does this? Yes. Just, that's it. That's it. And if you're like me, that makes you push harder. You're going to be sitting there thinking, I will say to myself, young lady, you're going to sit in this chair until you get this done. And the whole day goes by and I end up not getting it done. What can we do to unblock our brains? and come up with better ideas. I'm gonna give you a few tools here that have worked for me, uh, especially since I have to make up a lot of talks on the fly, like this one. I think of this as two different modes that our brains are in, hunting versus gathering. Let's say you're hunting for something very, very specific. You're Googling for one thing, and you're throwing out anything else that doesn't fit it. Okay, we're hunting a mammoth. Are you a mammoth? No? Okay, get out of the way. That's a rabbit, we don't need that that's different from gathering where you're looking for anything and going, huh, I wonder if you could eat this. And seeing how you could use it. The hunting makes you focus very, very hard and ignore things that might have been able to help you. The gathering lets you look at everything else that's out there. It's kind of like trying to find one piece in a puzzle and you're already constrained by the shape of the puzzle and the color and everything. You're focused on that as opposed to getting all the pieces and just going, let's put these together and see what they make. The thing is that sometimes you can come up with something very valuable with those colors, and if you get distracted too much by trying to find that hole, you might overlook the fact that one of those pieces there might be a different color, but it might actually fit into your puzzle. Does it matter whether it's blue? It might not. So this is what you should be thinking of. How can we do this? How can we unlock this more relaxed part of our brain? Routine activity is great for this. Driving to work, anything where your brain doesn't have to fully engage, um, exercise, walking a lot, you know, an, an elliptical machine or bicycling or things like that. Um, even the shower. My father was an inventor, among other things, and he came up with so many good ideas in the shower that his boss started paying his hot water bills. It's true. <laughs> I have written entire talks in the shower. So any sort of routine activity, folding laundry, you know, anything that helps your brain disengage and start free associating helps a lot. The next thing is liminal dreaming. This is a phrase that was coined by Jennifer Dumpert. And liminal in this case refers to the state between sleeping and waking. You know how you're falling asleep and you're thinking of something and suddenly there's a plaid octopus that you're thinking about. You're going, how did that even happen? This is where your brain is really letting loose and free associating. I like to do this when I'm waking up in the morning because then I can make notes. Sometimes I will spend a whole hour lying there slowly waking up and if my husband is watching this, I am not lazy, I am working. <laughs> because I have also written entire talks while lying in bed. If you can capture this liminal state where your brain is relaxed and thinking, that can help you unlock things. Another one is meditation. And some people think that, you know, meditation is to empty your mind. How can you solve a problem if you're emptying it? What it's really about is calming the chattering, the automatic thoughts, or what some Buddhists call the, the monkey mind. Getting that out of the way so that your brain can start free associating and coming up with answers to things. So if you've never tried meditation before, give it a try. If you're like me and you have ADHD where focus is already a problem, then you're one step ahead because the idea is not to focus. And so, you know, we have a natural advantage there. So try any of these tools to, when you're trying to solve something, but the important thing to think about is don't think at the problem. Don't think, oh God, I've got to find just the right thing to fit in this puzzle. Think around it, like what other problems does this problem remind me of? Or if I were Captain Marvel, how would I solve this problem? Or, you know, if I won the lottery, if I were Mr. Rogers, how would I solve this problem? Think around it and give yourself the luxury to think freely and then stop and then come back to it. And that will help you when you're feeling stuck. So instead of having just a plain black canvas in your brain, you might have a couple interesting things that you could do something with. You know, to be open to it. Just think about it.
Thank you.